Hi, and welcome to how to play Nest Rooms using an emulator. In this case, FCEUX. I'm from Sweden, so I'm sorry for my bad English, if you think it's bad. <coughs> yeah. So anyway, um, mostly you use an em when you I'm using FCUX and uh, yeah this is uh, the emulator uh, and uh, at the top you have file NAS config tools debug and uh, help um, and the f well yeah it's the user interface nothing much to say about it uh, in the config panel, um, you probably should um, uh, set up the input first, so that you know, well, the settings are. And uh, here you see you can choose uh, different um, different add-ons to the NAS, uh, gamepad, server and such, but uh, even the Arkanoid paddle. Um, but in this case we're gonna use the gamepad and we press configure and here it's you just press the corresponding buttons for up down left and right and it's important that you know that you must double click on each uh, uh, each key as here I press right shift two times and it's selected as right shift so that you won't make a mistake you know uh, and do so for every button um, and uh, when you finish just press close and uh, here you have you can preset them as different settings for each game you know and import and export them uh, as you as you want uh, and there's loads of stuff you can do here but uh, well I'm not gonna go into everything but uh, well you see you can play around a little here um, yeah let's close that and uh, we go on to the next. Um, you probably would also want to change, uh, take a look at the video and sound options if uh, if you're experiencing some troubles playing this, uh, uh, playing games or whatever you know. Um, and uh, if you're playing a PAL Europe uh, European game, you probably want to. Uh, you you need to yeah use Paul emulation there yeah um, yeah uh, well the file dialog um, well you can see all the recent games you played here and uh, it's like any program you know but I'm just gonna open this up and we'll just open a room that I'm going to use to show you um, what I'm talking about and uh, here I have some rooms yeah, not a lot but it'll do for now uh, and we'll play Super Mario Bros yeah. and uh, rooms are said to be illegal so I won't provide any uh, I'm sorry for the language also the buttons are at the same place well you see it's booted up and uh, ready to play let's start and uh, here I go um, I'm not going too serious but uh, since this is just uh, a demonstration but uh, you see oh yeah there I died big surprise <laughs> Uh, didn't care really but um, anyways you see it's pretty smooth uh, the frame rate here is bad because it's a movie but anyway um, 
yeah so when you wanna stop you can exit or close I don't know why that button is there I n never used it actually um, it's just open another game and go for it if you wanna sh switch games um, I um, I'm playing Doki Doki here I'm just gonna show you that it's easy to change games cool game actually but uh, enough of that um, let's just shut this out off and uh, oh yeah you can record stuff too you can record above uh, and uh, AVI files uh, to show up you can even record movies in the game you know um, and send a small movie file to your friends and show off what a nerd you are <laughs> but um, well just I'll just shut this down um, or yeah there's nothing else to say no um, just play around with the with the thing and find out um, the method you use to do this is just it's the same for e almost every other emulator there is you know so if you wanna play some Nintendo 64 emulator it's the same procedure really you know just uh, inputs th settings and uh, video settings and audio settings and just play the ROMs and get on with it, you know? <laughs> it's nothing much to say, it's very simple, very basic, but um, that's how you do it in FZEUX. And of course, I really don't care what you think of this video, I know YouTube gay, yeah, I'm just doing this for a friend, if you wanted to know. But um, yeah. Take care.